started the recording. Um, so, as we just learned through <laughs> me forgetting to add the pop-out module, I, I did reduce modules by about half. Some of them oh, wow. uh, because they are already in Foundry. Um, the PDFs are not, there's something with PDFs I got to make sure, but there weren't many of them and none of them are relevant now um, for this adventure. I mean, uh, so that's not a problem. But a, a couple of things that have changed. Uh, the ping is built in, so I don't have to have a module for pinging, but it's a, a different ping instead of the kind of crosshair with your name under it. You just hold and it does that. So that is the the new ping if you want to get somebody's attention on the map. So that is one. Um, how, how do you do it again? Just hold just, the left button. Yeah, click and hold the left. Did you get it to work? Yeah, he did. Okay. His like, color. I'm like, His color flashed. I was seeing lots of flashing colors and not paying attention to what the colors they actually were. Okay, so the uh, it I checked, which means that as soon as we start a combat or something, it will completely fail because that's what normally happens. But I did make sure that I have the the uh, the status counters should work. You should uh, left click to get it to go to one, and then hold control down and then left click to get the uh, the option to for uh, the round to the countdown for the round for spells and stuff again to remind people because I always forget um, it only works for the newer icons I added so some of the older icons it does not work for um, but that should be working um, on character sheets, uh, or a couple of style changes up at the, the top right hand, um, they replaced the fist with the cross swords for combat encounters. I guess that was just an easier way to, uh, to show that it's a combat. The, uh, the actors though, for your, for your characters, um, it, for for those not ever some people don't have it turned on, but for those who have it turned on, it's the little check mark under where your level is, that allows the all items tab and the script tab to appear. The all items tab now is completely different. It's all alphabetical, and the ways to create things are up at the top with with the little plus buttons next to them. Um, okay. one, one good thing is most people have advancement showing everything that they've done, um, all their choices. So that's at the top being an A, you know, not, not necessarily the very, very first one, but near the top with advancement. And then you can just go down the list and make sure all your skills are updated by alphabetical order. So that is uh, somewhat nice. But since it does that and each one is kind of its own row instead of multiple ones fitting on a row it is long <laughs> very 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 long but and they're all different colors so depending on what they what they do so that's how the all items tab works um, the other i guess i keep this character sheet up uh, the other thing that you might notice is next to certain values is a little chat bubble. Yeah. So before, sometimes you would click and it would roll and it would be private, the little die symbol, or the like the damage uh, formula. But then other times it would show up in chat. If it's a chat bubble, well, they both show up in chat, but the rolls and the damage formulas are only to me and you seeing it, the chat bubble will show to everybody. And that's how you uh, move those to chat. So if I'm like, hey, how far can you, can you uh, move? 
you can do that and then you'll see the movement you know wh whatever it is that you press the chat bubble that will appear so. i have an unrelated question mm -hmm. with uh physical strength bonus to damage does that get added to natural attacks it depends on the natural it does not uh, uh work with bites but with punches it should so claws it would bites it wouldn't correct basically you know your your muscle strength and uh, is is not going to help when you're just trying to bite somebody i mean teeth will help you might get a bonus for that but just being a bodybuilder isn't going to necessarily help okay. your bite and the other one is uh, plus one damage from the hand to hand. Does that get applied? Uh, no, because unarmed combat is not hand to hand combat. Hand to hand is what? Okay. Is. Um, the the other thing on the main page on the main tab of your character sheet. You will notice up at the primary attributes, there used to be a lot because some things I had to consider as a primary attribute, like movement and the attack base. All of those are hidden now. So it will only show intelligent quotient IQ, PS, PB, ME, all of those. It will not show all the behind the scenes. Those will be on all item tab though. Everything's in all items tab, but that makes it easy to understand and you don't accidentally uh, mess around things um, as you can see the buttons that get pressed to activate or deactivate the toggle buttons that turn green those are a little bit they're, they're not quite bold everything else is kind of bold they're a little grayer or a little lighter uh, that way you know that that is something that can be adjusted so things like your hand-to-hand -hand skills, your encumbered, your awkward um, spell effects, etc. All of those can uh, be toggled, and they're just visually a little bit different. Um, things are visually a lot different, let's especially on the all items tab. So one more time, just to make sure I understood it, the speech bubble goes to everybody yes okay i think so, so the if, function so if, the... if everybody did everybody see landon has a movement feet per round of 65 old man nicholas has ca carrying pounds of 70 and gon's door has carrying pounds of 36 no i'm not seeing those do where you... am i supposed to be seeing that in the chat in the chat do you see that they somebody rolled yes so it's hidden oh okay um so I, I'm curious about because I was curious about that because when you shared it, it so Lehman, do you did, did everybody see this spell charismatic aura? Yep, I see it. So okay, so notes to chat still does that. Okay, so the the yeah the notes to chat is where we normally put spells that would then show up. So it's but, that is uh, then. See again. So I just clicked carrying capacity. Everybody just sees that I rolled some dice. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. Yeah, that's that's then, what I'm saying. Then I was wrong. That's what happens when the person who can see everything tries to figure out what other people can see and not see. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was wondering. I was just curious because it, I thought you were doing an example, but it said you rolled some dice, and I was like, I, I don't think okay. it's doing that. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure why that changed. Probably just to show that it's maybe easier for pe people who are used to clicking the, the die symbol, but not clicking on where it, it said stuff. I'm not sure. but um, Okay, so I talked about the other primaries being hidden. They're on the All Items tab. The All Items tab is, is different, all alphabetical order. Um, uh, the we, we still have token lean, which is you press and hold Q, but it will have a sound. At least to me, I hear the sound. I don't know if you guys will. And then a note in chat appeared to me that said so-and-so leaned. 
or is leaning. Okay. Um, and I guess that's they they have a disable also. Like if combat is you can disable it. I didn't because I think peeking around corners is a legitimate thing that you could do in a combat round that lasts a minute. Um, so I disabled it, but you guys might hear a noise either when other people uh, press the Q button and hold it or, or just press it uh, or when you do it yourself. I will get a message saying that you're leaning, but then you do not click any buttons on the mouse. You just move your mouse around and then um, it'll it'll sh it won't move your token, but your area of viewing will move um, so when we actually get into combat or in, into the the uh, a screen with character tokens we'll be able to see that um, one downside is that the there were two different kind of torch icons for the tokens the one only had a torch the other one had three torches and at some point that got put into a different um, mod. Those, the only one that was has been updated is the one torch, the one with the three different, the like the torch, the lantern, and the spell. Um, that is not uh, wor working. So basically, if you have a torch, you can click that. It will give you the the torch. And if you need, like, the Globe of Daylight spell I made in the Actors, um, hopefully there's a Visual Spell Effects folder, or, yeah, folder that people can see. Just uh, drag and drop or, or tell me what level you're casting it at, because I think it's 10 foot per level. I'll set it, and then you can drag, or I can drag and drop. Um, and let me make sure that it's... Yeah, everybody should be able to own it and, and use it. But that's how we'll do the, uh, the spells. If, if somebody drops a torch, turn off your torch. I'll quickly make a light. Um, and we'll, we'll do it that way. Um, uh, one change is in night vision will be black and white. They uh, completely changed a lot of their lighting stuff. Um, so there is a, a default night vision that just makes things black and white. So if you have night vision and you th see things in color and in black and white, that means that some people have things lit up with torches or there's some light source. But your night vision is what you see in black and white. Oh, well, that might actually be helpful. Because I was always having a hard time determining what other people could see, because I could see everything. Right. Whenever I well, that character's dead now, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But. <laughs> um. Now that's what I've seen. Again, once people on other machines, not with game master right. stuff, might be different, but that's what it seemed like to me. Um. So. From there, we'll just kind of see how things go. Um, if I, I won't, the the pop out I thought was pretty needed, so I I did that. But otherwise, tonight, if you realize or we realize that I forgot to add a module, I'll just pause to write it down real fast. But we won't stop the game to to add it unless it like stops the game by not having it. Um, so, um, the, the last adventure was last year. So, welcome to 2023. Happy New Year, everybody. This, uh, um, but in, in game day, it's still, it's still uh, 2011, and it is the 29th. So a week after your previous adventure in the cave in Tombwood in Fallcrest. So Fallcrest is the city here, right here. Number nine is the Tombwood. 
up against that cliff there was a cave that you went into and found iron circle people who were doing some weird stuff you got to the very end of a cave a cavern system cave system and there was a big eyeball mass on the wall that the uh, iron circle adept shielded with some type of barrier before dying so you could not either kill it couldn't affect you so that was one good thing um, but it couldn't affect you but you were unable uh, to figure out what it is kill it destroy it or what not so a week has passed and within that what? week uh, what did you say the date was Lehman? Uh, 12 29 29 okay 2011 Thursday so two questions yes um, did we miss the festival that... no you at the, I believe at the end of the adventure I asked if anybody was not going to uh, light their their piece of wood or stick or whatever I maybe it was adding it to the kindling of the fire but that was all done. No, I mean the other one. The, um, uh, da, 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 oh, the, the hammer the fast? Hammer fast. That yeah. is on uh, New Year's. Okay, so people are already traveling that are going to go People there. might be traveling, yes, to go there. So whatever we play today, if it's not going there, that's not who you play when we do that. Or you get caught up. Okay. But okay. yes. So, because uh, I was uh, making a shield for Ron, so mm -hmm. that was 50 hours after the 20, uh, during, I started on the 21st. Right, because so, only so, one day had passed between th the uh, the end of the Hammerfast and the beginning of the last adventure. But now, uh, a full week has passed. Right, so he needs to make it. Uh, ogres are coming tonight uh, not me I was going to comment and I thought I was the one that made the person <laughs> from the, the, the green flashing it looked like Joe <laughs> <laughs> So were you making a uh, a shield smithing roll, blacksmith? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make sure everything is uh, correct. He was still wounded when he shouldn't have been. Uh, yes. While while you're doing that, for everybody else, since uh, seven days have passed, that means if you had any damage, the first two days are half. Your heal base, so your heal base rounded down if you have an odd heal base. After that, you've had full, or sorry, five full heal base, so five full days of rest. So two halves rounded down, and then five full. Um, and unless you have really, really low hit points SDC, it should have healed everybody but that's just there um, for the for magic points and ISP though um, that is something around maybe it's 240 or 480 something ridiculous that I don't think anybody has that amount of uh, magic points or ISP so your magic points or ISP should be full okay so the anvil acts as a what you said was a major situation bonus? Yes. Is that under modifier? Uh, I believe so. There's various... Okay, so positive major. Yep. I was looking I was looking for M's and didn't see them right away. It was reversed in my head, apparently. 
All right. So then I will make my cool. and I. As far as I know, with the shield, the only thing I can really do is a uh, parry bonus. So that's what I'm really going for. Okay. So that would be five, I believe. It's it's a per ten percent, right? I believe so. I don't have the book open. Let's. Manufactured products. Oh, 20 percent. Yeah, it would be 20 percent. Let's see, and dwarves. No, uh, uh, shields can can have bonuses to damage and and strike. Uh, I, he doesn't really fight that way, so I just went okay. To parry. They can get up to plus six for shields, so that would uh, with your success, it looks like that would be a plus two to parry. So, the it's for how much again? Uh, for for uh, a shield is in the same category as a as a weapon, I believe. Yeah, shields are in weapon category, so it says that. Oh wait, nope, I was reading wrong. I got my eye saw the wrong thing. So no, you you had a plus five, plus five to parry. Okay. And to do that, I just modify my parry. parry so shield. what? What when you uh, drag and drop your shield over, it'll pop up. You'll you'll get a a pop up. So if you go weapons. Oh, I've never actually done gear. So gear is. Uh, so go to the items tab. Huh. I I stop. And then go to weapons. Hand to hand, hand to hand, and then di did you do a small shield or a large shield? I believe small is all I have access to. Okay. That would be under skills. No, no, under hand, under weapons. No, I'm looking to verify. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, small shield is a uh, a skill. It, you wouldn't see it except in all items. Right, and it'd be weapon proficiency, right? Uh, I think it just might be small shield. I think I took off weapon proficiency. Maybe, it, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it is under W, P. You're talking like a month. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm just trying to find my way around. 
not seeing them. Now I need to double check. I thought I had shields. Let me look at advancement real quick. Uh, yeah, just go to all highlight over. Oh, you know, I was looking at uh, the wrong character. Ah, yeah. Uh, Gron has small shields. I apparently had the old man Nicholas open. Okay. I was like, I can't find it. Why was I making this? So, I did roll on the right character. It's fine. So then you just uh, figure out which you drag and, and drop, and the one that says P, small shield. <clears throat> so All right. you'll, you'll drag one that says H, depending on if you have a wooden iron or a wooden leather. Okay. Drag that over. Then now I should already have that, shouldn't I? Because I had. No if one you already order. have one, then you, then you don't have to worry about it. I just need to do one for the parry. That's better. Right. So when you uh, drag and drop small shield, you'll get a box that appears yeah. where it says formula zero. <laughs> that's where you put the bonus. Do I put plus five or just You can five? just put five, it's fine. Okay. And then either in the notes or after, like a space after shield, so the the bracket parry, or the bracket P, small shield space, you can write like self-made or okay. dwarven made, whatever. That way you know that it's only with that shield. And okay. all the bonuses will still add to it. All right, I almost have it. I just got to go in and fix it because I closed it before I changed the name. Yeah. So it's under P when you're looking at all items, by the way. Yeah, under the bracket P. Yeah. Yep. That's why I couldn't find it last time. Mm. Okay, so since uh, within the last week, a, a couple of guards have been stationed outside of the cave. Uh, a guard group did go inside of it. They got to where you were. Um, they your your group had told them about various places to not walk um, so they they took that into consideration um, so far it's basically the that group wasn't able to do anything so they have a couple of guards um, searching <laughs> the area for help they found one person who could help them? Gon's door. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so there is a magical barrier that is keeping a creepy eye from being harmed. The eye needs to die. Creepy. <laughs> That's funny. And you have been hired to uh, destroy the barrier to destroy or take care of the eye and make sure that that cave is safe. So you have gathered allies. Did I get to play and where is this cave at again? It is literally within the walls of our city. See where it's see here at Oh nine, crap. Yep. It's right above right there. Okay. Like if I yep. uh, Oops. 
like in there <laughs> somewhere. Yeah. It was not being fun when I was trying to draw that. Okay, so who are people uh, bringing to help Gonsdor? I'm kind of curious who Gonsdor would pick. <laughs> I'm kind of curious who, who Jay remembers is playing the game. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I mean, what's the name of the That's still you alive. Did experience or level? Level is what you know. Where do you put the experience? Is it called experience? Uh, yes. Okay. On uh, the character sheet up at the top, it's XP. Right. But some people have two numbers that don't fit there somehow. Right? Oh, yeah, there is a... Uh, oh, if we look at the... Is it just level? All items. It, it might... No, there, there should be a... Oh, I might have split it. No, I would have split it up on X. Is there an actual XP? XP, yep. Like, with an X? Yes, with an X, an X and a P at the very bottom of the All Items tab. Not at the uh, very, very bottom, but almost at the bottom, before all the bracketed stuff. Oh, okay, that's why. Because I, I was like, I'm looking at a versus, Lehman, and I'm not seeing it. There's no brackets on the versus, but it still puts them at the very bottom. Yep. Thank you. I was actually hoping to play the new character. You okay. can. I was just, I was just curious. If Jason remembered who was around. Who does he know? Pretty much nobody. Um, that's alive. <laughs> I will play old man Nicholas. He was there the first time this one. So let me. Let me get names, and then I can get things set up, and I can pause because I uh, I need to figure out where that art was going because <laughs> I have so many folders, and they they do things strange. Okay, so um, Gonsdor and then Groughton. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, and then you said Old Man Nicholas? Yep, and Shep. And then... Uh, Joe, who are you playing? I'm playing Flynn. Flynn, okay. And then that would be Katunk? Yep. Or... Peter, I think that's everybody. Okay, so if people want to take a five minute or five to ten minute break, break i will pause things and get stuff set up and then we can continue after that so i am pausing the recording okay let me try this again so um fallcrest militia has kind of taken guard over this and they are sending one of their soldiers to escort you um further um, and see what this is about when you had first went there it was because you were told by uh kind of like a young teenager that these people were you know had noticed something and it was the festivals people were ignoring it you had went out found out that it actually had some sustenance to the the stories but now that the uh, Lord Warden of Fallcrest knows about it. He is sending a soldier um, t to uh, see what is going on. So there is a large ursin uh, 
soldier, although he does, for those of you who knew Bo Deal, he does look a little bit smaller than Bo Deal. Still very large to most of you, but uh, those of you who know Bo Deal notice um, smaller stature. stature. Um, so Groughton, Flynn, Gonsdor, Old Man Nicholas, Shep, and Katunk. You uh, make your way through where there was the uh, the strange writing that flittered across the walls. You got to the messed up area where you're hearing whispers the, the, and glyphs going along the floor. Um, you stayed away from an area that had caused a few of you to attack. Um, I think Alessandria and Jurgen had both kind of went on a rampage after going into that area. And then you make your way back to the I room. And we are going there. So it might take a little while to load because this is one of those really heavily intensive high definition maps I've made. For the record, Alessandria was going along with Gron to the Hammerfest. Okay. Gron didn't go to the Hammerfest. <laughs> or, unless he didn't make it. It was, uh, it's gonna be, uh, Sir Emery that needs to go to that. Oh, I thought you were going as well. Depending on timing. There we go. So it looks like everybody got shuttled across. Uh, hopefully you can find yourself. Mm -hmm. Yep. And there is a is strange light eye. coming from the eye going through an invisible barrier. So the, the light kind of does get refracted a little bit. You can kind of see where the barrier is. I accidentally assigned myself to the combat tracker, and I just unclicked that. Should be able to. Can I turn on my lantern? Sure. Check to see if it works. Well, nothing changed when I clicked it. Oh, oh. there you go. It was on. I clicked it to oh, turn wow. it off, and then I clicked it to turn it back on uh, again. And you it see, worked. it's it's just like a computer. Did you? Try yeah, turning turn it, it off and turning it back on. Did you light it to blow it out? <laughs> <laughs> and then light it again. <laughs> ah, nothing like having to reboot your lantern. The light is different too, it looks like. It's, yeah, uh... um, we'll see how it goes with the next area. Sometimes maps created in the past tend to have strange things that happen and i'm hoping that that is a mistake and, and not a symbol or sign of things to come but yes this is this is where you are There's so a... all right are we missing a couple of people on here no I thought Gron was with us. No. No. Old Man Nicholas. Oh. I'm Old Man Nicholas. Gron was uh, just doing his uh, smithing role. And who's Groton? <laughs> that is Aaron's character. Yeah, Groton's my new character. <laughs> Are you the, the Ursine person? Yep. Yes, or... I am. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, his name doesn't show up when I mouse over. Oh, it's showing up for me. I see everybody else's, but not his. Oh, because it somehow got set for uh, hovered by owner. So now try or now. Yep. There it is. So I'll just change that on the prototype. 
cook in this world. So, uh, yeah. what do you make of it, Gonzo? <laughs> Was I here before? No. Or was I, I didn't think so. I was like, okay. When you're like saying who was all here before and everything, I'm like, I don't remember any of this. No, that's why they couldn't get past it. They didn't have you. Yeah, I don't think your char you had a character here at all. I think this was a one that you and Bauer missed, I believe. Okay. Man, that is wicked looking. Yeah. All right. Let's see. God's door is like, I have some Vaseline that will help that red eye. <laughs> not Vaseline, Visine. Sorry, Visine. Gets the red what? eye. Yeah. <laughs> Except yeah. he lies and uses Vaseline, and that doesn't get the red eye at all. <laughs> that makes more red. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was getting my chemical products messed up so so some some lady sacrificed herself to put up that barrier so we could not harm the eye okay so we gotta take the barrier down yeah. and harm the eye yes though the eye might also try to harm us do we poke the eye with the stick? Quite possibly. Many sticks. We don't know much about the eye other than the, what are they called, Lehman? The cult? Or iron the, circle. The iron circle were protecting it. We don't know if they were enslaved by it, if they worship it, or what. But... It's probably not a good thing to have it here underneath the, uh, the... Should I be stabbing or shooting it? Um, whatever you prefer. Um, yes. Right now, <laughs> we give Gonzador time to evaluate how he takes down the said wall. Okay, I'm going to sense magic. Okay. Is that your um, skill, or is it a spell? What what type of ability? Yeah, that's what I'm. Because there's kind of lots choosed. of different types of ability, so I need to know what it is. Let me look at the skill. So yes, you have a skill. So without needing to cast any spells, it's definitely a magical barrier. What happens if you touch it? <laughs> you touch it and tell me. Yeah. <laughs> Not me. You want me to touch it? <laughs> no. Nah. If Sir Emery was here, he'd touch it. Well, yeah, but that's Sir Emery. <laughs> look like it had. It was... Well, Sir Emery was already here once, but it doesn't look like it. No, had, it so... was Jurgen that was here. Oh, was it Jurgen? Remember, he charmed yeah. the the guy to go that's become right. a bar bodybuilder with him. Yeah, he was just another big meathead, so I wasn't. <laughs> Are there any runes or 
circles or symbols or anything like that on the wall. Uh, you you passed some earlier in this area, no. This area, no. Okay. You were told by the the people that were here last time, the Iron Circle Adept cast a spell, and that is what did it. Do you perhaps have a way of passing a wall or dispelling magic? Got carpet of adhesion. I think that just makes the situation stickier. Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute. What's this? Don's door is looking at the index in his <laughs> spell book. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So are you not seeing it? Oh, duh. It's right in front of me. Um, level four. Let me read. Okay, I am going to try and negate magic. Okay, what level are you casting it at? The higher the level, the better penetrating Can't. the spell. Um, you can cast it up to four. a higher level. So. Yeah, yep, Okay. so that's four. So what you do is so. see, see the red box that says global modifier? Where it says spell, skill, spell, or you can go to your combat, go to your combat. Oh, yeah, I see. I Yep, global, global put, modifier. Put a four in there. Okay. And then roll spell targeting. I'm going to have my bow ready. Mm -hmm. If the shimmer or spell goes down, I'm firing. I'll get my sword out. Ooh. Roll the little... That spell oh, target. I had to target. find it. It's one of your attacks. Yeah, I, I found it. Okay. There we go. It kind wow. of that... shimmers and glimmers a little bit. But it does not fall yet. Yeah, that was a bad roll. I love that yet. You think a. Uh, uh... You think you're on the right track. You just... Yeah. Fail to get past the, the defense. All right. Let's... 
do it again. Okay. So bubble modifier four. Targeting. Oh, that's better. And with that, the barrier comes crashing down. Take that barrier. And everybody add themselves to the uh, the combat tracker. Oh boy. You've lived up to your name, Gonzo. I'm still there. And then you can roll initiative. Don't press the die. Roll initiative from the character sheet. Alright, either I'm lagging or I cannot... You've added yourself like 18 times <laughs> to the combat. Oh, okay, I'm like really lagging, okay. Whoops. <laughs> I did. I don't even know you could... I'm going to see if I can remove a bunch of these. Yeah. And you probably only need the magical stance once. It, it, it's just going to always show up as a one or a two or something. It's just, you can't. Oh, seriously? That's an awesome niche. Critical failure. <laughs> I didn't end the previous. So, oh well, we're, we'll start off. Is everybody else seeing like where their initiative and numbers are like black and hard to see? Yeah, yeah, it's been that way. Like a light gray or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will. Uh, let's see if I. Uh, Nope. <clears throat> yeah. Huh. Is it on the Oh, it's not that way on the uh on the if you're not popped out. Yeah. Okay. Well I guess I'll pop out chat instead and Tell that to uh, James. Like I said, we're not going to stop things. Okay, so Flynn is first. Yep. Um, well, I'm not sure what to do with this thing. Um, but, yeah. Well, and let's see. Well, um, actually, right now, I'm just going to wait and see, since I don't know what's going on with this. And I have a funny feeling that running right up to it and smacking it with a hammer would be a bad idea before I see what anyone else <laughs> does. <laughs> Old man Nicholas. All right. Try to boost people's speed. Five people. So ship. Um Bruton. Flynn. What's my range? I cannot see. 
Tonk. So everybody here except me and Tonk. Okay. So if you don't, if you have Fleet Feet as a spell on your character sheet, on a, a toggle button, you can toggle <coughs> it on. If not, one here except for who? Katonk doesn't get it, and old man Nicholas doesn't get it. I can't see Katonk. If you go to the items page under spell effects, drag and drop. If you don't already have it, where it says level three fleet feet. Yep. And then toggle it. Turn it green. And if you're I ready, still want to do it one less. It. Yeah, one one less than the effect. And we'll see how that works. It shouldn't count down this time, but it should count down next round. Tonk. That hits. And double damage, because this is the first round. Okay. Your arrow kind of hits the, the eyelid and sticks. <laughs> Shep. Kind of bite my eye. Yeah. Hits. And it it. it Feels a lot harder than what you think an eyeball should feel like. Does it See, look like seems it did to him? get a, a little bit of, like a, a scratch or something on the eyeball. Huh. I just gave it a little bit more red eye, huh? Mm hmm. Groton. I'm going to poke the eye. Okay. Poke at the eye. That hits. Seems to be really easy to hit this. It's a big eyeball that can't move. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a button for damage? The uh, the formula. The, the dice code is a button. Yeah, it it. I mean, you you give it a tiny little poke. It like you. Like a little bitty pinprick. It's a very, very tough eye. And you can pass it to Gon's door. 
Gon's door. Um. Wow, Groton is huge. Gon's door. I'll move back. It does look in one? all like ways, shapes. It does look like a living eye. It's just you you have just witnessed swords and arrows and bites not seem to do much. Did did something in your opinion, but not a whole lot. Not okay. An evil eye. And it is, you know, looking around and freaking me out. Staring at you, you know, if looks could kill kill type <laughs> thing. <laughs> okay. This... I am going to this is gonna be funny. Um thirty feet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm going to do this right on the eye. Okay. What level are you casting it? Uh, I'll do one. Okay. That's just mean. Is the egg going to close? I was about to say, hey, you might actually be able to see Katunk, but I don't think you will. The, the corner was in the way. That's why I couldn't see. I'm hoping to blind it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and turn. Katunk. I am going to... Aim. Okay. Directly into the light. <clears throat> Shep. Sorry, I was typing my message. Or typing my notes. I'll know that there's anything I can have Shep do that's better than what he did. Well, that hits. Okay. Gives it another little scratch. Groughton. That's a bit more effective than what it was about what Shep's bite was. Guns door. Yes, All right, got a question. As far as um, allies being in the way, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about like, it. Like, I was thinking of. Unless it's an uh, okay. area of effect. Okay. If it's a single make target, sure it's don't not. worry. If, if you're casting like Cloud of Slumber, then yeah, <laughs> go to sleep, I. <laughs> right? No, uh, I was thinking Fireball. Uh, no, Fireball in play. I'm going to do Fireball on it. A single target. It's not the big area of effect. Sleep in this case would be Shut Eye. So I'm doing uh, level four on okay. it. A 
so you can do that global four with the targeting. So that hits. Man, my roll is fuck. So the I roll the damage, right? Well, it's it's a okay. d six per level. It, which six, right? So. That would be four d six. If you want, if you if you don't have it set up, you can just use that die symbol at the bottom of all the symbols in the upper left hand. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. And then choose the four next to the d twenty on the d twenty line. Four. Not a great roll. <laughs> but no, you know there is that that liquid coating on the eye that it just like starts to evaporate Ooh. you did the opposite of visine <laughs> <laughs> don't don't get dry eye yeah I, uh, it keeps going to the back my intern does katunk that hits Double damage again. The uh, ex except for the fire, each individual attack didn't look like it did a lot, but now there's definitely some hurt going on. The the eye, like some blood vessels have popped in it, and it. <laughs> Really doesn't look good. So, Shep. That hits. Okay. Did a little more damage to it. Gon's door. Um, I'm using a lot of MP. Um, I'll do this fireball again, but at a lower level. Okay. Um, only global modifier two. I'll do it level two. Target. That hits. Let's do half damage each time. <laughs> um, you, 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 you know, seeing everybody's attack, your fireball is doing more damage than all of their arrows and bites and sword strikes. <clears throat> Shep. That hits. That does a little, a little damage. God's door. Again. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. I 
I just oh, noticed it's not hitting back. No, it's not. Kind of worries me. That hits. Hey, a little bit better. Enter. It's looking pretty bad. It's like, like I said, the, almost the whole uh, iris is all red. There is blood and ooze coming out of it. Not looking, uh, not looking good at all. And it I need Shep to give me a versus psychic. Save. Okay. Shep is very off as it gives him the stink eye. It's because he, of those bites that blow up in fire. Feels like <laughs> he was going to take some damage, but did not take the damage. And then everybody can roll. Uh, if you want to switch stances, switch stances. Otherwise, roll for initiative. Uh, set yourself to green when you're ready. You said very off? The, <laughs> very <laughs> off, yes. Yeah. I cannot roll to save my life tonight. Lehman, so you know, um, the combat tracker pop out also will not change you to go green, green. Just... yeah yeah and I was... it won't change you if you click on the name okay i i'll write that is that the combat tracker i think i'm going last Uh, probably not going too much uh, quicker than you. Okay, so was that every everybody? Yep. So let's uh, move to the next round. So, <laughs> old man Nicholas. Um. Oof. I didn't think about it. I don't really have anything. I guess we'll try it. I don't know. <laughs> Why not? I don't have much in the way of uh, combat spells. Okay. Roll to strike. Yeah, I think I'm just doing it at level one. Okay. You'll probably hit, but... where? So, I haven't done a combat spell that you need to do bonuses to yet. You can just put it in the, uh, there's a red global modifier box. Just put the level of the spell that will count as a All right. plus per level. And then do you have spell targeting? I have a paralysis bolt attack. Oh, if you have that, you can press that also. If that hits. All right. So now it gets to make a save. <clears throat> okay. Did the one go away? Yeah. It's the the eye was looking back and forth at different people, and it just stopped. What the heck is that? <laughs> We're just being mean. Stare at the light. Stare at the light. <laughs> <laughs> Gonzor. 
All right, I am going to move the globe of day. Okay. Like there. Yeah. Thank you. That was getting hard to stare at. <laughs> What are you doing as your action? Um, so the eye stopped moving, you yes. said? Yeah, you saw like a little bolt of electric jolt hit it, and then it just kind of short-circuited it. OK. Um, I am not going to do anything in, in my turn. Okay. Flynn. Okay. Um, is it possible for me to get close enough to actually hit that thing, or? Uh, probably not. It's okay. There's a big Urson warrior soldier that's yeah kind of taking up most of that space. Oui. All right. Let's see. Oh, wait a second. Oh, where'd my character? Is she? Well, where, where my, oh, there's my character token. All right. I'll just move in a little bit closer and I'll probably switch over to my bow for the next when I get a chance. All right. Okay, so you switch to your bow. Well, um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Shep. That hits. He takes a pretty decent chunk out of the eye. Growls. Doesn't like feeling off. Growling. And that hits. It's kind of a pretty big hole in the, the side of the eye where you've been working at it for a while. And Katunk. It's probably going to be dead by the time I get this off, but I'm aiming. Okay. Gon's door. Um. I'm going to end my turn. Okay. Gun's door is like, I dispelled the barrier, gave it red eye. It's up to you guys. You're <laughs> feeling tired, Gun's door? Flynn, <laughs> you can uh, shoot your bow. A little bit. See, you got to go back to having just, uh, like me, I only had one attack and I would have doubled you to two. You had four. You spent <laughs> yeah, I know. Ball. It's draining me. That hits. Oh, yeah. it did count down. So we should, we should oh. have one more. Okay. Yep, I did. wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't either. So it's interesting when it does and when it doesn't. So, um, you hit it with the arrow, and it kind of starts to fall out of the part of the fleshy wall that it's attached to. Kind of bulges out from the, the socket area. Ooh. You can do it. And Shep. 
does it look glassy now? Like in Dead Eye? <laughs> no, no. Okay. It looks like somebody hit it a bunch of times <laughs> with a fist. Right. The big fist came. And Shep bites it, and you hear an audible pop, and it rolls Ew. out of the wall, and there is a dark, cavernous passageway behind it. That's... Good job there, Shep. Good job. So they were chanting something the last time we were here, by the way. He who watches behind the eye. Right. I don't know what that means. That means we go into the tunnel because there's somebody in there. So Groutman okay. and Kentunk are going to have to, like, probably crawl in through... The, uh, the passage, but they can. Everybody else can walk through the eye socket. So I'm going to need an order. Just starting at the eye here and going back, put yourself in the order. Do you want to go first or should I? Asking? Shep. I think he was literally asking the dog. Uh huh. No. I'll answer and say no. Shep, Shep's going to stay with me. Um, maybe maybe Flynn, do you want to go in first so that if something's there, you can react to it? Otherwise, we got people crawling through. Joe? Joe, hey, you... Joe. Hey, yeah, I'm here. What's up? So we have a very small passage to go through that Groton and Katunk are going to have to crawl through. Do you want to okay. go in first or do you want Chef to go in first, though? Oh. oh man, Nicholas is not keen on that idea. Yeah, I guess I can go in first. It is pitch black behind the eye. Oh boy. All right. Because the light old, of the... old man Nicholas has a lantern. Mm -hmm. How long will your globe of daylight last? It was good for 10 rounds. I forgot to start a timer. It's It'll last 8 more minutes. What kind of weapon do you use, Flynn? Uh, normally a two-hand hammer. But I do have a club I can switch to and pass you the lantern, or I can walk behind you, whichever. Uh, let's see. I can throw some mystic armor on you, too. Okay. Real quick. Cool. I actually can do that as well. Why don't I use my energy for that? And you save yours. Okay. I don't have a lot in the way of combat. Okay, mystic armor. Alright. So... Let's see. Do we have an item for the mystic armor? Uh, no. It is armor rating of 18 and it's 5 SDC. That counts as heavy armor per... So it would be 15 SDC. I'm casting at level 3. Okay. It lasts for 12 rounds. Right. Um... Let's see. Were you giving him the lantern? I do. You, are you going to? Yeah, I'll give him a lantern. I don't think I want to be second. Okay. So turn off your light and Flynn, turn on your torch. Yeah. Okay, his is working. Yeah. 
Right, I've got the lantern in one hand, the club in the other hand, and all right. So who's after Flynn? Get, get, like I said, line people up in a straight line. Groutin will go after Flynn. All right. Tatunk, I think you should probably be next. We don't want to be pinned in there between two big people. You don't want me to be last? You're not going to be able to shoot from behind us. You're going to want to get out into a clearing as soon as possible, right? Why can't I shoot from behind you? Because you you're going to crawl. have to crawl through the eye hole. I, I said the Ursin and the Troll are too big to walk. They right. will have to crawl on their hands and knees. How long is way. how long is that passage, though? You have no idea. We don't know, and you're not going to get a great view as you're going. Um, Furry bear Gunzer, you want to be in front, in front of, of me or behind? I was just thinking the same thing. I can be in front of you. It's not as nice as Bodil's was. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Bodil had the bedonka. And if you want, I can shove that. I can keep moving that globe of daylight ahead of y'all. Okay. How far yeah. can you have it away from you? Oh, uh, let's see. Globe of daylight. Um, The caster can mentally move the globe along with him or send it up to 30 feet away. Should we drive Moving the globe the after casting is simple and can be done without taking an action. Yeah, I mean... Would that make it so that he couldn't see anything, Lehman? Um, he just wants it 30 feet in front of him? Yeah. He would see what's 30 feet in front of him. He wouldn't necessarily see what is... He wouldn't be able to see past the globe. Right. So why don't you have it just right behind us? So yeah. Can... So Because they have the lantern up there. Yeah. That way if something comes and starts chewing on us, we comes... know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. So we'll put the globe behind us. Keep it behind Shep. Okay. So. Oh, you closed the combat tracker so it erased my number. Oh. Interesting. I was like, why did your number go to zero? Do we have any time left on the fleet, fleet feet? Um, uh, yeah, there was, depending on how long it took us to get organized. I was thinking I saw two, but I'm not sure. Oh, there was four rounds left because we only went through two initiatives. Yeah, it it takes a bit to go through. Oh, okay. So it will. Uh, the the fleet feet will be off, so you can go ahead and and click that off. Yep. So you you're... guys hear me now? Yeah. Okay, I got this connected for a second. All right. So you uh. Clamor along a strange, rough, narrow passage behind the eye. Seems very unpleasantly akin to climbing down the throat of some great beast. <laughs> You're forced to walk or crawl in single file, and in some p places um, squeeze through narrow gaps. The... Passageway twists and turns, but always descends. And the further yeah. you go, the stranger it becomes. You start to feel a terrible chill, though your breast does, does not freeze in the air. And whispers similar to those in the earlier tunnel twist around you mad voices in your mind that fade as soon as you try to hear words. The stone of the wall and floor begins to grow soft and spongy. 
Huh. And more troubling, um, your lights begin to flicker. Oh, boy. The uh, gl globe of daylight is starting to expire. Fun, fun, fun. So what if we're not trying to uh, make out words? It just sounds like somebody's talking to your brain. And again, that's probably should get out of my head. Be, words. Uh, shuffling along. No. Why does that? Oh, because it's already activated. It should be moving to a new map, hopefully. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm showing 99%. Yeah. Yep. Is this a screen that never loads? Oh, wait, I'm seeing LJ and J have loaded. Yep. Yep. It looks like it's loaded. Yeah. <clears throat> there I go. Did uh, Anthony make it over? <clears throat> Shep, did you make it over? Are they on? Because I know he just said he had got disconnected earlier. Nope. Yeah, I'm not seeing him logged in on either. No, no he he. Ju I just heard him no. drop from Discord. Yeah. Yeah. So and he just dropped from here too. So okay, when he loads back up, uh, we'll we'll continue with that but um so yes flynn you've you've made your your way it opens up a little more uh Groughton and katunk can stand up you're kind of still in that order with uh flynn and the torch in front and gon's door and the globe of daylight in the back um it, it does look i guess for katunk yeah, see how Flynn is is yellow and the globe of daylight back there is kind of a yellow and white light. Yep. And then everything else you see is is black and white. That's where your night yep. vision is taken over. That's probably okay. where other people cannot see. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, I guess up until this point, all I saw was uh, hairy bear butt. Yep. You're quite relieved when the hairy bear butt stood up in front of you. And... <laughs> Maybe not happy that the hairy bear butt stood up. But that it wasn't, like, in your face. <laughs> uh, he is wearing leather armor. That does him no good. So I'll leather just move uh, Shep and... Old man Nicholas. If I'm reading the rules right on that, if I get hit with a nine or lower, it hits the leather armor. If it's above that, but below, below my natural armor, it bounces. <laughs> and then if it's above my natural armor, it just hits me. Is that correct? So it's an AR of eight, correct? Um, eight or nine, something like that. I believe it's eight. So if it hits nine through your natural armor rating, it hits you and bounces. If it is five to eight, it hits the leather. Right, Wait, what, so what's your natural, okay. sorry, what's your natural armor rating? I can't remember what Ursins were. Sorry, natural armor is 11. Yes, so a one through four completely misses. A five, six, seven, or and eight um, hit your leather armor, and because it's on the outside, a and and your armor takes damage. And then on a nine, ten, and eleven, your natural armor is hit, and you do not take damage. On a twelve and higher, you take damage. Okay. 
That's what I thought. All right. Okay, so it looks like uh, Anthony's back on Discord. He said he was restarting computer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everybody else said they were at like 99. I had stopped at 95. And then I kept hearing Discord connect and disconnect. So if you want to uh, travel further, you can. Uh, the, uh, the globe of daylight goes out. Goes out, okay. Yeah, I found the wall. If you uh, cast it, I know you're. I know you're thinking about MP, but it's more MP uh, productive to cast it higher. And higher. It, yeah, it's I realized lot, that it's a lot bigger range, and then it's going to last. Oh, is like, it okay? Like, like, yeah, it's ten feet per level, so you get a forty foot. Okay. I believe. Yeah. That's what it is if you press the button. I, I think you're right. With, you know, instead of, if you cast it four times, yeah, ten or... one, it, it's going to cost you like three magic points more. Yeah, ten foot radius per level. Routon does actually have torches, too. So did, were you going to do that or not? God's door. Yes. Okay. Yes. So there you go. So quite a bit bigger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's okay. I am having difficulty with the countdown. So I. Do that and then do an alt count. No, control. Yeah, that's why I meant control. Control left click. That's what should give you the box. Yep. But you have to get it to say one first. Right. Okay. So geez, let's start over. So there you go. Get there. Now press and and then hold left. control yep. and left click. Yep. And now you should get the little choices. Countdown. Yes. Ra countdown round. Yep. Oh. And it takes it away. Now click it again to uh, get it up higher. It's all left clicks. Yeah, left clicks. There should not be right clicks. Yeah, that's why I'm doing it. It's not doing anything. Okay, so if we go here. Uh, let's see. You want let's, I should like to try. Oh. Yeah, it, it it does it. You just left click on the yellow circle again. On the status circle, not on your token circle. Right. Hold, hold down control. And just yep. click, and you don't see the uh, the pop up box. Yeah, the pop up box is there. So then I clicked on countdown round. Yeah, that's that what it shows. pop up box goes away. Now release control. Oh, release control. That's what I was wasn't doing. And now just keep clicking on the the yellow. To, to, Unless I'm it. just lagging because it's not going up. Let's see there. Countdown. Round. Or maybe you have to, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Do the countdown at the end? Maybe, maybe that's what it does, and then it drops it by one. Let's see. It's, is it 10 minutes per? 
Yes. There are 10 rounds per, yeah, 10 minutes. No, it, it completely went away. I think it's because we're not in combat. Maybe, Remember maybe it's how because... I reset mine to zero? Oh, that's right, because yeah. Tony's went away. Or Anthony's went away. Yep, okay, so th then what we'll do is... It, what does it, it last 10, 10 minutes? Or, I mean, uh, 40 minutes being at level yes. 4? Yes. So just when time passes, I'll tell you what to drop it. That's what it was. It okay. Keeps, it doesn't keep tracks of rounds when you're not in rounds. Makes sense. Okay. So if they, yeah. If they move away from me, Lehman, because I'm... Y yes. I can't see anything. You can't see anything? I can't see anything. Um, look at the upper right hand of the map. No, no, they just showed up. They weren't okay. there before. So Groughton lit a torch also? Yeah. Okay. Now I only see two people. So that's right. Is there only two people in the light? Hmm. I'm seeing that you should see everybody from where you are. Do you see Gon's door? Nope. And Katunk? I can only see what in the circles. Huh. Like Groughton and Flynn? Yep. I see them in the circle of light. And then I can see my tokens because I'm in the circles. So it seems like the globe of daylight is not visible to him for whatever reason? Yeah. Uh, Gonzor and Kentunk are behind you in a great big globe of daylight. Can everybody else see it? Yeah. Yes. Here, yes. Yep. I guess I'll try doing what F5. F5, refresh. So you can uh, con continue while Anthony is trying to fix his viewing. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, hold right there. Yeah. So for uh, Flynn and Groughton, as you get about there, you hear sounds of voices from ahead. As the uh, passage widens into a larger cavern, and you see a dim reddish blue purple light flickering from within a portion uh, coming up from a pool of glowing liquid, and two figures stand guard at the poolside, iron circle guards by their attire. So should we be attacking them? So we should be going into uh, combat. So let me... Uh, somehow God's door already put himself into combat. So people can put themselves <laughs> into combat. And you can uh, do your initiative stuff. And your man, I cannot roll initiative to save my life. So I haven't reloaded yet. I you can close it and read it. Ah, uh, okay. I will uh, add you to. to uh... And is uh, Shep still very off? No, he is no longer very off. Did I don't need? Are, are, are yeah. you are you logged in now, or not? No. No. It's just I got a black screen. Okay. Can you? No. Uh, okay. If if you want to hit initiative, you can. There you go. Nope. Care of cheats. 
And okay. So Flynn is first. Oh wow. Okay. <clears throat> right. Okay, and all right. Um, well, I'm. I will just move up a little bit. Okay. Probably a mistake since I went to the range stance, but my back against that rock. All right, and I'm good for now. Old man Nicholas. So. Because things have kind of been wonky. Oh, wait. Now I see them. Because this time I saw the globe of daylight, but I didn't see their torchlight. Ah, uh, yeah, because they, they went around the corner. Yeah. From where you are, so. All right. Uh, let me get. I will cast Fleet Feet. Okay. And Jason, go ahead and just, since yep. that's 40 minutes, we'll just count down minutes. And at the end of uh, okay. a battle, we can see how many rounds it is for you to count it down. So you don't have okay. to just keep switching back and forth on that. Yeah. Chip. Okay. Roll the one. <laughs> You're you rolling had, like you, me. You, you had been rolling pretty decent, so it was just yeah. a matter of time before you only got one target. Well, if I cast it on myself, it's only one. No right, what. right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, casting it, trying to cast on others so that it wouldn't right. be a loss of additional people. And you can pass it to Groughton. Groughton's turn. Okay, first question is, I have a gap of darkness. Can I just walk through that? Sure. It probably changes you're walking through it. So that will show you that it's just a dark spot of the tunnel. So. And hopefully you don't run into somebody. <laughs> well, that I think hit. So you may... We'll find out when I get the shit. So yeah, you just walk over and smash that guy and he just immediately falls to the ground. Just did not. You needed to train more. Guns door. You hear the sound oh. Of metal hearing metal and a loud thunk. And it's not katunk thunk. It's just a thunk. <laughs> <laughs> not quite as loud as his fall. Where do I? Oh, oh that's another mm. one. I didn't think about the ruler. I need to yeah add the ruler thing so it'll it'll just show you but it won't do the the counting and all that 
Like I said, I knew I was gonna oh, forget some I stuff. I hope I had the movement to do that. I hope I had the movement to do what I did. You only went like 30 feet, so probably. Oh yeah, I've got a lot more than 30. Okay, so it's uh, this guy. Oh, did Shep not make it into the thing? Uh, doesn't look like it. Nope. So if he was a seven, he would be the last, anyways. Uh, there you go. So this guy runs forward. And swings, and that, you think, is going to hit you. As a soldier, I have not a parry. Uh, yep. Um, you oh, are sorry. holding the lantern, the so you would have to, or sorry, the, the, the torch, the sword, so you, yeah. yep. But it should be at the top. P is in the brackets. Hopefully, in the character sheet. You do and that's not, not going to do it. Nope. And he hits you quite hard. And you are wounded. Wounded. Wow. Yeah, he hit me very hard. I think he hit me as hard as I hit the other guy. Ooh. Yeah, pretty much so, looking at the, yep. Uh, Katunk. When I move my character, I don't see the the line showing how far I can move. Yes, we just went over that. It I did not install that mod. I forgot. That's something I will okay. deal with. So if you use the ruler tool, that will show you how far you can go. Okay, I see a dead guy, I see Flynn, but I don't see anybody else. Oh, there they are. I see you. I guess I will shoot it. You are in a range stance, you can either move oh, or shoot. Okay. Can I aim? Nope, it, or... takes, it takes an action. Okay. To aim, and your action was moving. Was to move. Um, Shep. All right. Somebody was leaning. <laughs> that was Shep was leaning. Did, I was did, trying to remember how to do the bent elbow. Oh, I think it's the space bar, maybe. Oh, or that, no, I, is it? I was just trying to move him. That it might, it might have been part of the other movement. Oh, did I, everybody hear that noise? Yeah, well, I did. Did anybody else hear it? Nope. Yeah, actually. I'm hearing it here and there. Oh, sorry. Listen. Here, let me do. It. Let me do it again. Did you hear that? Yeah. That was Shep leaning, oh. and it. I did get a message that said, 
I'm leaning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on one second. And it looks like it's a whisper because it says to, to Lehman. <laughs> Okay, I easily. didn't realize that I'm like put you guys in the dark when I moved the globe of daylight. Sorry about that. No, oh, it was fine. Uh, old man Nicholas could still see. I wasn't certain if I'd be able to see what Shep could see or not. I just have to take it slow. Is there just a really tiny gap here? A little tiny gap of not light, yes. Because he had like 200 movement, but trying to math that out was getting rough. <laughs> All right, he, he attacks. Okay. With yeah, he gets he gets a lot of movement whenever I cast fleet feet on him. I mean, plus he's a dog, so dogs go right. fast as it is. Uh, <laughs> that is going to hit. He uh, he's gonna try to parry. The other one kind of okay. got caught unaware, but this one's uh, actually prepared. Oh, he he is he was expecting a big, huge urson to swing. He was not expecting a shaggy sheepdog to come running and biting <laughs> him. So. Uh, Groton is still uh, under. Uh, this this Iron Circle soldier has been ended. <laughs> Groton is still under the impression that it was a good idea for Shep to bring along his old man. Shep, Shep, <laughs> swallow, <laughs> Shep swallows something. You're not sure what it is. <laughs> yeah, that. There one's... are some things we don't need to know. That was a really, yeah, that was devastating. He rolled almost max. Okay, so there is a, as you can see in the top part of this room, there is a glowing pool filled with a vicious red and blue liquid giving off a purple color. Everybody wants to advance oh. to the room. You can, Jason, count off two minutes from the, the globe of daylight. Yep. Between Groughton and Shep, we took them down pretty quick, actually. I will start healing Groughton. Okay. Lehman? That's yes. appreciated. Now that you mention it, it kind of hurt. Do I see... Now you do, yeah. Uh huh. We have a couple oh, behind crap. us. So yeah, let let um let's see. Gon's door went. So go ahead and move down. We're on the same initiative. No, he I he clicked hit, in he turn. Already, you you clicked in turn and it didn't go. Let's see. Um, next. Let me try it again. Uh, I think my internet's slow. Let me let me, let me do it for you. Okay. So. Uh, you, you moved forward and saw them. You alert everybody. Well, yeah, I just left. Oh, you dropped out of the foundry? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I, I'm still showing. I'm you. switching. I'm switching network. Okay. Networks. So, Shep. Um, okay. Sh 
shop runs over and thinks. Uh, that is going to hit armor. Okay. That does a little bit armor damage. And this guy is going to attack Shep back. That is going to hit Shep. He's going to try to dodge, and he doesn't get like an auto dodge, right? Correct. So it will take an action. You can press the little hand symbol, and he dodges. Boy, does he dodge. Leap Pete should give him a nice ben uh, bonus to it. Yeah, and then this one is going to uh, try to do the same thing. Uh, I think he's going to, let me, Ow. let me check something real fast. That is going to miss Shep. And Flynn. It looks like it jumped down to Katong. Oh, you're... Uh, yeah, sorry. I was just kind of looking at the next person in line, not who it actually... I will aim at that one, or not aim, shoot at that one. Okay, yes, please, please be specific. When yep. I, I hear yep. aim, I'm expecting the yep. action. Yeah, <laughs> I... Uh, that is going to hit armor, but you can still do damage. Or I'm just, not do enough damage. I am just sucking it up on my rolls tonight. And Shep. Good. first one he attacked. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to hit armor. So a little bit armor. Okay, so this guy is going to attack back. Okay. Get out of there. And yeah. this, and then the other one will attack, and this one will hit Shep. And Shep is out of attacks, so this oh. one will damage Shep. And Shep takes damage. Um, so that was that one, and then that one. So we can go ahead and um, uh, uh, roll, choose stances, roll initiative, all that good stuff. Good frickin' grief. Wow. That's my best roll yet. I have not rolled well tonight. Back in a moment. Okay. Sorry, I was switching stances and stuff. Wow. These guys remove, remove. So, if God's door is ready, he can make himself green. Oh, yep. Sorry. Does it turn green for us? So I got it popped out. I don't. Yeah, see you, you turning green. It turned green. Yeah, you need to turn. Yep. Oh, there you go. It turned it. Okay, so it still works for you, we just don't see you it. You don't see it, okay. And then we 
can. Uh, I wasn't even getting a toy for me. Well, what I'm. What, he means that. Out, it, I can't those... see it turn green, but Lehman does see it turn green. Yeah, if, if you're looking at it normally, you see it turn green. If it's popped out, you do not see it turn green. Right. So, Old Man Nicholas. I use my healing touch on. Uh, Brody. Okay. And that is your healing touch base plus his heal base. So my healing touch base is three. And what is Groughton's heal base? I think 5.2. You have a... I should have gotten rid of all those. Uh, let's see. Points. So it's five. So you gain back eight. Let's see if this does. Oops. No. I got the character sheet open. You want me to just heal back eight? Yep, heal back. And does that make me no longer wounded? If it healed, uh, if you have no hit point damage, then yes. Okay, I don't have shock points, but I do have hit points. It completely falls, so I'm no longer wounded. That didn't work. I'll have to figure out how that's... No. <laughs> oh, now I see what we're doing. I'm back. I was using brackets instead of second parentheses. Okay, now your heal base is correct. Okay, Gon's door. I'm going to shoot an energy bolt at one of these guys. The um, okay. this one, the bottom yep. left. Um, so going with level four, and that turns my global modifier to four. Correct. Correct. And then under attacks, it, I have the energy bolt there, mm -hmm. but I also have the spell targeting. Do so I have to do the energy? The energy oh. bolt is probably for the, let, let's see, if we edit, uh, there's no base attack bonus. So you still should be able to roll that and it'll work the same. Okay. So just well, I, press the die. Yeah. I don't know if I lagged or oh. I tried again. And then like 18 of them will pop up. Yeah, I did it twice. Okay, so. Yeah, I, I've lost connection to the server. Okay. Be established. Yeah, I'm showing that you hadn't pressed it. It's still because the global is still showing a four. Yep. So you got that far. There you go. There we go. No. Queen. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it hits armor. Jeez. That was that sad. That was a very, very, very sad roll. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I'm guessing that one missed. Uh, no, it, it hits armor. So if you still want to roll damage okay. to see how much armor. Yeah. You should just be able to press that formula, or you're pressing it. And it's oh, the 46? Yep. yep. Okay. Okay. Ah, yeah. Sweet. I got well, it. If only your fireballs would have done that, right? Yeah. So you, you did a little bit. Enter. 
Interesting. Um, so that's this one is going to attack Shep. Uh, that is going to miss. Groughton. Groughton is going to go ahead and drop his torch, grab out his shield, and move up to them. But he's in the wrong stance at this point because he had switched to ranged. Okay, so he drops his uh, torch and switches weapons. But he's still able to move, correct? No, not in a fast stance. Basically, you can do one thing in a fast stance. You can't do multiple things. So I could have dropped the torch or moved? You dropped you the torch weapon. and got out your weapon. Okay. Okay. So I in switching the stances I switched out which weapon. Well, you can't you can't switch stances. You have to work in the stance that you're at. You're in a fast stance means you get one you can either shoot, throw or move or do something like your weapon switch out. You can't do anything else. Okay. I my only question was whether or not I had already switched Okay, it's not a problem. I guess it's a free it's fr it's a free stance change at the end of your turn between initiative rounds. Right, which I went ahead and took um, and figured that I would be having to swap out the weapons. Yeah, you can't. That switch. was part of that was part of the end of the round stuff you can switch out weapons so you switch to range you should have had a range weapon in hand and now you're trying to go back to melee right, right. i was trying to go back to melee i at this point he switched his weapons and i passed it on to uh flint flint yeah joe Yep. Okay. I'll Flint, just. Flint's up. Yep. Moving up. And since I'm in range stance, all I can do is move up. Yep. So, all right. Okay, this Iron Circle soldier is going to attack Shep. That is going to hit Shep. Shep will try to dodge. Shep dodges. And then it is Shep's turn. I'm trying to remember who hit him more times. This guy on the left, right? Or I believe this was the only one who's hit him. Okay, then he'll attack that. Oh. Rolls have gotten bad. Yeah, that does some armor damage. It the the uh the armor feels strangely similar to the eye. Ugh. Okay. Except tougher. Katunk. Aiming. Okay. Old man Nicholas. I can throw a dagger, right? In, sure. I, I just won't get a uh, throne stance, right? Correct. You just won't get the throne stance bonuses. So, might as well try that. Throw one at the same guy Shep's biting at. Okay. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Going to hit armor and not do anything. 
Guns door. I'm going cast. Casp. Cast. Um. Wow. Well, I not put that. Wisp of confusion. Okay. At level two. So then I can do both of these guys. Oh, okay. And they get saving through for spells. Okay, so first one. And the second one. So the first one seems Enter. affected. All right. At least one of them. Uh, let's see if this has an actual... Nope. Okay, so that is very... Or they're off. Or he is off. off. Okay, so he is off. And... And half attacks, so I will give him a modifier of Oh no. Jeff's been yanked into the universe. <laughs> uh, I think this is how it goes. Yeah, these uh, dancing lights completely surround that guy. Does the chef need to make a saving throw? Nope. It, okay. It's specific uh, targets. Okay. So, uh, where's... Did I... Those flashing lights don't scare me. Okay. They can twinkle all they want. this okay so this is which one this one okay so this one's gonna attack Shep and that's gonna miss Shep Grouton. Oh, nope, Grouton sorry, Shep. doesn't have an action. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it, I, I just look at whoever the next person is, and I should wait until I click the next turn and read who it actually yeah. highlights. No problem. Shep. All right. Biting at the same guy that hit him. Yeah. That's going to hit. That's going to drop him like a bag of rocks. I mean, he does that doggy sneeze in his face after he's down. Katunk, you had aimed, so you can let loose. There and we go. That, you, you find the chink in its armor, because that barely hit. <laughs> and you uh, get him right where it kills him. You found his Achilles groin. <laughs> there appears to be a passage down this way.
Are we still in initiative? You, you, uh, no, Jason, count down uh, two rounds to mm -hmm. your yep. globe. Um, I'll go ahead and end combat. Um, yeah. So there is this pool. that is glowing and there looks like also a passageway continuing downward god's door do you want to analyze the glowy pool and i'll keep an eye on this passage yeah i think so you want i should stand in front of the passage just in case looks like it opens up from in there now katunk as you're actually looking down that passage, you do see what you see there. It just looks like some rocks on the floor. Well, I mean, look look how it changes. Your dark vision is almost not able uh, to penetrate the darkness down there. Okay. There might be a darkness spell or something down this way, because I'm not seeing a whole lot. Interesting. Should I be carrying a torch or using my shield? How? Oh. <clears throat> Just fight. No, you best fight. We have other means of light if needed. So I think I'll use my shield. Well, Gon's door. Uh, I'll go ahead and pick up his torch. Okay. I already marked it off my character sheet, to be honest. So while Gon's door is looking at that, after a, a minute, I can heal one more time. Okay. Go ahead and heal while I look at. So you uh, get eight more back. Gonzor's skills to see what I got forty ply. Yeah. Also, um, the 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 soldiers between them have sixty copper solidy, and they also one of them also is carrying around a, a some type of crystal shard. He's got a jewel. So, Gonsdor. Why doesn't Gonsdor yeah. take the crystal? It... The, uh, the pool seems to be some type of raw focused magical energy. Dispel it, dispel it. Interesting. It's raw magical energy, guys. Uh, can you refill? That's what I'm wondering. Can I tap into it somehow? Without burning myself up. <laughs> <laughs> you believe that um if if you would like stay like you can feel the magical energy coming from it, so okay. you, you don't need you didn't even need to roll or anything. You feel like this magical energy wafting towards you, and then um, so you believe that if you stayed there long enough, that you would naturally heal magic faster. Ooh. But you also think that you could possibly bottle it up and use it like a healing potion for magic. Okay. There's only one, yeah, maybe downside. I don't know. It seems to be powered by infernal sources. Oh. 
did you say 60 or 30 soul? Uh, 60. Like infern infernal as in heat? Or no, no, like as in, hellish? As in hell. Okay. Ah, oh, that's interesting. You also think it might have normal healing properties. Making it like a super healing potion. Healing hit points, shock points, magic points. Is it... I, I get near enough to, like, hover my hand over it mm -hmm. to see if it has heat? Just a slight... I mean, you're in a, a cavern that has kind of a spongy-ish, fleshy feel. It feels like body temperature. It's not cold okay. like a normal cavern, but it's... That, that stuff, I mean, it feels warm like a body is warm. So when we went in through the eye, did we go it, into a creature? We might have. <laughs> so weird. I don't understand it, but I don't understand much. I... I put my off hand into the pool. <laughs> I'm ready to lose my left hand. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Why don't I cast a protection upon you? Uh, say a prayer. So I will pray to Jas that he will be protected from this. Okay. So you put your hand well, in the in the liquid. You said. Yeah. Okay. It's it's like putting your hand in warm water. But it's like thick. Okay. So I'm going to say warm oil, not boiling oil that you're going to cook french fries in, but, you know, oil that is person temperature. Yeah. Yep. Which body part do you stick in next? The... It's, a nice, <laughs> yeah. it's a nice warming oil. <laughs> Soothing. I, I don't really you. feel any other effects do i or any effect you you feel a higher concentration of magic okay i was asking if you healed back spell points <laughs> i'm going to cup my hand cut and it? drink some of it cup oh cup okay yeah, like get some in my hand to drink mm -hmm. some. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I thought you were going to cut your hand and do an infernal rituals over it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's next. <laughs> no. You feel a, a little burst of magic energy course through your body. Ooh. Exhilarating. I watch him for a little bit and when he's It was like you know, putting a, a a gallon in your your tank. So I you know, uh, didn't didn't fill and... you up, but hey, you can go a little further. I uh I say my own prayer then and drink a handful. <laughs> and your alignment turns to diabolic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I'm not supposed to give the game master ideas. You also feel a little burst of magical energy. No lingering other effects that I can feel? Not that you feel. Did it nope. coat my throat like Pepto-Bismol? Yeah, it did. It, it kind of probably even tasted a bit like Pepto-Bismol. Oh, it was that, it was that <laughs> consistency. That makes it okay. worse oh. for me all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> it is from hell. <laughs> I'll 
take a second drink. Okay. That might have filled you up. I feel refreshed. Yep. I will also be you, oh. Chef. Okay. I'll do this. Yeah, I'm going to drink some more. Because nothing could possibly go wrong. Heck no! <laughs> And again, you feel like you, both both of you. You feel like had you been hurt, this would have healed you as well. Hey Groton, come here and take a drink. Okay. No one's bothered to mention the infernal feelings, right? I did. Did, did Gonzor say? I don't think. I think Gonzor just was like, mm, and he cupped it and was like, go, 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 go. Okay, I'll go ahead and take a drink. Uh, he was told to do something. He's doing it. You feel fine. I feel fine. You don't feel You're like you were hurt at all. This is a rejuvenating well, or pool, rejuvenating pool. It seems to be. We, uh, we should probably go see what's down that tunnel. I, I drink another. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh man, I wish that I could get this on tap. <laughs> Just one more, I can stop at any time. That's right. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use one of my water skins. Okay. That's empty and like fill it up with this. Okay. Because I want to see if it lasts. Sure. Or if it has to be powered after like a certain amount of time. Sure. So you, can I, you can write one special and put special in quotation marks healing potion. And it's uh, it's not because you have a problem and you, <laughs> you, you need this. <laughs> okay, real quick, it yeah. says that I have hunting by smell. Um, yes. Could I potentially just sniff here and see how many people have come through? Um, you you smell human, and you smell something that just makes the fur along your back and neck, along your spine, stick up. Okay, you so you not you're, encounter it before. You do see he go out and kind of snuffling the air the way a bear will, and then you just kind of see him shiver a little bit, and the, those hairs just stand straight on end. But it it does, as you can kind of see, it it's much darker in there than what you normally would expect. So, Gonzo, uh, let's bring your and, light over to see if it looks... Guys, there's something in here that's not like us. Hey, is anybody else hurt first? No, uh, I'm I don't not. think so. Because if you, uh, okay, if you are this, you can drink from here. So we'll drop uh, three more minutes from your globe of daylight. Do you think okay. you would? Do you think it would heal uh, permanent damage? Try it. 
and see. Lehman, I guess I'll... What's damage? Minor brain damage? Yeah, I was going to say his brain. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say you might have to injure it and, and put it on the newly injured thing, but I don't... I don't want to mess with your brain that way. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you want to try? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> it's minor brain damage. Katunk goes back and drinks from the pool. Not the tastiest, is it? <laughs> and there you go. Does there seem to be an extra clear sparkle in his eye? Yeah, we're watching uh, him. I, I, I'm not sure if there was ever <laughs> a clear <laughs> twinkle in his eye. <laughs> Does that change the uh, attribute that was affected by it? it? It already did. As soon oh. as I took that away, it boosted it. Okay. Wow. Wow. Hey, this is good yeah. stuff. There's a dead wizard nothing. that should have visited this place. <laughs> nothing is going to. Um, so we, we will end with a uh, Gonzor advances and moves the globe of daylight into the darkness. And you hear a <laughs> sound as shadows move away from the globe of daylight and we will oh, no. end there. Oh, are we locked? Yeah. Another, we're locked to I another. Think yeah, we're we're it's smells. it's nine. There's no way that we'll get through this. <laughs> I think there's a serpent in the dark. Yeah. Yeah. Um that might be what I smelled. So which is not the same thing as what Katunk smelled. <laughs> <laughs> I will go ahead and, and stop the recording.